What's up guys, it's Alex here and we have made it to the final week of the regular season. We are now in week 13, but this video is for those week 12 results. I am now seven and five. Was able to get that victory there, as you can see, 127 to 81 over the New Jersey Gobblers last week. Taking a look at the scores across the league, if we go over there to NFL week 12, I was able to beat the New Jersey Gobblers 127 to 81. The champ is here. Tanner Trout moved to five and seven by beating Team Mariska 100 to 98, won by 1.4 points. So congratulations to him. Joe Nut November moved to five and seven by beating Saquon Godley, who fell to five and seven, 123 to 115. Then the oh my gosh, Team Goats scored 228 points. I mean, look at that. They had Tyree Kill who went off for 58 points, which is I think I think the third highest score ever in the history of fantasy. So congratulations to him for running Tyree Kill. Also had Derrick Henry who had 38 points and then Patrick Mahomes who had 31 of his own. They were able to beat the New England Patriots who scored 97 points. Both teams are now seven and five. I mean, look at that spread. It was almost beat them by like 130, which is just absolutely crazy. Then Zachary Springer won 150 to 96 over Abella is in danger. So now both teams are six and six there as well. And then the last game was Team Cronin moving to eight and four. Now the best team in the league by beating the person who lost by 0.2 earlier in the season, 0.2 L, who fell to seven and five by winning 121 to 109. So that way, if we take a look here at the standings, remember six teams get in the playoffs and then the two divisional leaders will be the ones that end up getting the first round buys. So we're going to have Team Cronin in first right there. They will most likely most likely end up getting the buy for the West Division. I mean, they're up by one game over the, over the New England Patriots and also have an 87-point lead. So as long as they don't lose and don't get outscored by the New England Patriots by 87, they'll have a first round buy. But then over here in the East, it is pretty interesting. We have three teams tied for the lead, which I am in there included. Team Goats has 572. I have... Uh, 1,572, not 500. I have 1,500 exactly. And then point two L has 1,438. So I need to win this week, and I need to outscore Team Goats by 72 unless Team Goats loses and I end up winning, which then I'll have the first round bye and win the East. But I am looking pretty good for the playoffs here. Remember, uh, six teams get in. So the cutoff there is Zachary Springer and Team Mariska. Both teams are 6-6, six and six, and the difference between them right now is about 150 points with an advantage that I have over them. So I'm looking pretty good for the playoffs, I have a one game lead and that huge point spread. So I should be looking good. But other than that, we have just a huge amount of people who are still alive. I mean, nobody, or I guess Team Cronin has clinched a playoff spot because they're two games ahead of the last one. But other than that, we have everybody from Team Goats to the last team who is five and seven, which is Saquon Godley. All those teams have a chance at that playoff spot. So it is gonna be a crazy week 13 here in the Fantasy Football Subscriber League. We'll go ahead and take a look at the matchups here. The champ is here, has to win to get in. Joe Note November, has to win to get in. Saquon Gottlieb has to win to get in. Team Goats is looking pretty good, similar to me, but I mean, crazy things could happen if they score like 40 points or something like that, which they're not going to, but it'll be just be interesting to see what happens there. Saquon Gottlieb has to win that. Then Abella is in danger. I think they pretty much have to win here. I don't know if they're above or below the cut line, but just to be safe, they need to win and score a lot of points. The New England Patriots, just like myself, are looking pretty good for the playoffs. Another matchup here, Zachary Springer pretty much has to win. They're in the sixth position, if I remember correctly, but they don't want to lose this game and then fall below the cut line if the team below them ends up winning. Then kind of 0.2L, looking pretty safe, but I mean, you never know. Then down here at the bottom, we have Team Cronin, who is pretty I think they've already clinched a playoff spot, just want to go ahead and clinch that first round by. But then Team Mariska, seventh right now in the playoff standings. They have to win to get in. So it'll be an interesting week 13. Good luck to all, the, uh, all of you subscribers who are still watching these videos and are in the subscriber league. Good luck if you, uh, I guess if you're playing this week, not good luck to the champ is here, my friend Tanner Trout. We're playing in week 13 here. We'll kind of see what happens with that. But there we have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all with the week 13 results and a look at the playoff picture next week.